Welcome back to the Flagon Slayers. We we took a week off or two. I don't remember. We've taken a we few weeks off recently. Off. We took some time off, but Caleb messing up his shoulder isn't going to stop us from nope. doing more Dungeons and Dragons. Not this time. I didn't take time off. I sat here every Sunday and waited. That's true. Hunter thought we were waited playing last people. week. Oh, it's so uh, Personal I... issues are pop up quick, so we, we do, you know, we're uh. human. It and we're also happy to have Zach back. Zach Welcome is back, back, Zach. I have a new tattoo. He does have a new tattoo. Ooh. <laughs> Look at his tattoo. What a tattoo. Oh, man. Anyway. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> I was going to worry about the tattoo, but go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Zach. Go no, ahead. The, no, no, no. Or is yours? The, the tattoo artist, uh, we he and I talked about penises for my entire tattoo. It was classic. It was interesting. Oh yeah, I love that. It was um, a ten-minute tattoo that turned into a thirty-minute. Not just tattoo. switch over into a penis midway. <laughs> that is amazing. He drew like one one number, and it was like, yeah. So I was at the doctor, and I was like, I don't fucking care. Just fucking do my tattoo. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Your tattooist had penis problems. Uh, well, no, he was talking about. So right, fuck it, we'll go into it. So, <laughs> oh my god. He uh, uh, somehow or another, he was like, yeah. So I was talking to my doctor. And uh, I asked him, you know, man to man, doctor to patient, um, how come some penises hook to the right or left and some don't? <laughs> that's and a then I was like, all men have. And I was like, oh, that's okay. And then he was like, do you know? I'm like, no. And then he was like, okay, I'll tell you. Oh my god. Because there's uh, a, it's an uneven circumcision. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll have to make... fucking do my tattoo now, thank you. And now oh, every yeah. guy that's watching us is thinking... I have to sue the doctor yep, who circumcised me. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently uh, there's right circumcisions, and then it's like it's a whole fucking... It's a conspiracy, man. Conspiracy. So... so I think he's all hooks the right right there's something? just a giant cork board with, like, different pictures of, like, penises curving in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> You Topic like conspiracy. somebody watching this video is like, oh shit, and goes back and like tries to refix the circumcision. All of a sudden, oh, he's God. got like ah. a spinny uh -huh. dick because it uh, goes back the a, other way. A snake charmer penis. <laughs> just turns into a curly Q. <laughs> it's a why, is, why is yours shaped like a question mark? <laughs> hey babe, I I, hey babe, I know I know this is gonna creep you out, but you're gonna have to unravel it before we go. <laughs> you know, in some. It's just, it's, I guess that's cool. I don't know. <laughs> Some people are probably into that. All right, D&D, though. 
So, if you missed a few weeks ago, um, the party was continuing to try and track down the Baylor that has a contract with uh, with Animus. Yep. Um, Caleb, if at any moment you need to, like... I just had to raise my arm to get to be able to write. It's all good now. I should be okay. fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Jacob, the I part... think we should talk a lot of lore, so Caleb needs to write a lot. Exactly. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's what I was planning on. Um, so, uh, Animus' is Baylor uh, is somewhere on the Prime Material plane, but the party doesn't quite know where, and all of the available information that they had um, kind of turned up a dead end. So, um, consulting with their trusty bartender, uh, Soph, uh, they determined that Soph knew some people who might be able to help, but they shouldn't ask too many questions. Um, so the party tasked Soph with perhaps running down a lead, uh, and Soph requested two kobolds to accompany him for no particular reason. Um, then, uh, late night, a strange kitten was, uh, resting outside of Thea's window that's, you know, two stories up, or maybe just, like, a story and a half up, so that was kind of odd. Uh, Thea, along with Anzu, followed this kitten outside the city where, uh, it went to its master uh who happens to be uh tasha witch queen um tasha then explained to thea what was going on with uh the sorcerer abilities that she has suddenly acquired and revealed that uh thea may or may not explode um maybe but probably but maybe not um then uh Oh, also, if Thea does explode, um, her soul explodes with it, so she's just gone. Like, there's no resurrection, there's no reincarnation, she's just, just gone. She's gone. Um, so that's fun. Uh, with all of that new information, um, the party, uh, awakens the following morning. Oh, and uh, Tasha's sticking around a little bit because yeah, apparently Tasha, there's rogue gods appearing on the plane. Yeah, um, Tasha basically said that there's some gods that love to see pl uh, planes be destroyed, and they're just kind of there to watch. And we are exactly, uh -oh. as of finally sleeping again for the first time in five sessions, three yeah. weeks and zero days away from the... So in other words, in three we weeks... Yep. Did we take a full rest? Dawn of the 21st. Yes, long rest. Yeah, ex long unless rest. Thea long... decided not to rest this night. Yeah, because if Thea long rests, it triggers or, a potential Or explosion. does she get this one night? No. Okay. <laughs> no, it would have happened... It would have happened whether or not she knew it or not. It's just that I would have made the roll instead of her making the roll. Oh, so oh she just God. would have died. Man, there's a five percent chance on the first. Imagine night. that fucking happened. Wouldn't that oh, be insane? Yeah. We start the session, and I say, "So you guys see an explosion from Thea's room? You go in there, she's gone." That would have been insane. Okay, so everyone's awake. Soph has already left on his mission. He left in the early morning hours with his two kobold companions. Um, after receiving special dispensation from. Uh, Mathis to use the uh, the junction to use some uh, teleportation, um, but yeah, Soph's not at the bar. Um, hmm. Oh boy, who would come down first? Yeah, <clears throat> is she? A, did you sleep, Abby? I feel like this is the only day that I can risk it. Well, don't you get... It's every time you sleep, so, like, if you don't sleep tonight, and then you sleep tomorrow, you just get the one point of exhaustion today, and then you sleep it off the next night, and then you can do two more days, yeah. and then you kind of stretch it? Yeah, I'm trying to find my character sheet real quick so I can, like, see how many spells I actually have available. I think that's gonna determine... Oh, true. That is a very important piece. Some of if the DM knew that it would be a hard choice. I think initially, like, before we ended last time, I said I wasn't going to sleep, but I don't actually. You can make the decision now. It doesn't super matter. Um, I'll, uh, do you, uh, here's a bigger question moving forward, Abby. Do you want me to roll, or do you want you to roll? 
when you have to roll for these percentages? That is a great question. Um, there we go. Um, make Jacob roll. I want him to feel the fucking guilt. He feels I, zero I, guilt I feel whatsoever. He doesn't nothing. give off. Oh, Bobby, call your nothing. fucking eyes out. He's a white right man. He's not capable of guilt. <laughs> I'm not like other men. I'm, I'm a good I'm man. Just, guys, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of beach, mine is nerd. Oh, we're playing on Oscar night, not by the way. Not everyone. anything specific to nerd. Just nerd. <laughs> Four things, just one hair and makeup. Uh, production design and uh, costume. Nice. Big. Beating Barbie. Barbie that's ins beat. that's kind of insane. Bar I think Barbie gets blanked, dude. Legitimately, I think Barbie gets blanked. It's happening right now. I'll come down first, Jacob. Okay. So that we can move forward. <laughs> Is Star Wars winning anything or? <laughs> what about what about Citizen Kane? Is that one up for anything? You're telling me the Godfather's not winning an Oscar this year? That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Outrageous. Crazy anyway, um, Adam's make a perception check. Yeah, I'll make one of those. Uh, 24. 24. Uh, as you come down, you get the faint smell of vomit. It's uh... a very faint vomit smell. As you look around, you see uh, some of the tables are still sticky from spilled drinks. Uh, you see, like, different plates of food that have been left out overnight. Uh, you notice a bunch of tables haven't been bussed. Just uh, general cleanliness is not there. Um, and it occurs to you, Assuming oh yeah, we never hired someone to do that. Soap's probably been doing that. And Soph is underpaid. I don't know what uh, he's paid, but he's underpaid. Soph is, uh, don't worry about it, in, uh, who knows where. Soph is, um, well, Zach wasn't there. Soph took two kobolds, and allegedly... Oh. See a guy about a horse. Just yes, went over Allegedly this. is yeah. gonna yeah. take we them can. to a demon see tube. To see. No, no, no one said demon. Allegedly. It was alleged. Alleg no one, no one said demon. So Soph knows a person or or extra planar being. He took can help a couple kobolds I mean, out to the farm, and he will come back with information without yeah. the kobolds because they're yeah. at the farm. Yeah. The the kobolds' names are Old and Yeller. Um. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so uh, that so was dumb. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you're realizing Soap may do more around here than uh, you initially gave him credit for, and maybe you need to hire a bus person. We pay him, like, the equivalent of $300,000 a year. <laughs> That's probably true. That's probably very true. <sighs> you guys have actually never set up your, like, your dues bus and, him. like, anything. Yeah, but it's all, like... Yeah, but we kind of just walked Anzu in one did day all that, like, hey, here's know? 2,000 gold. <laughs> Anzu did all the dues, and Bron, yeah, was, they're, they're Bron like and Anzu were in charge of that, so... That is very true. So maybe Bron's been doing it in the background look, since he's... When we out. save the world, I'll come back, I'll look at the finances, and I'll see how much... Once the world's not threatened, me. we'll figure things right, out. That's all exactly. a giant bill. Yeah. Here's an itemized list. <laughs> Uh, I will. I'll do a little cleaning. I'll do a little cleaning because I don't. I don't want Soph to come back to this. Okay. All right. You do. I'm gonna do my stretches. Now. I'm gonna go down. Okay. Answer. You get your all nice and stretched out, all limbered up. You come down. You see uh, Animus doing a little bit of cleaning. Um, Animus, do you have access to? <laughs> Animus, do you have access to press digitation? I don't. I just have Druidcraft. Uh, I can grow flowers on the vomit. Yeah, flower vomit. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you spend the better part of like half an hour just getting everything tidied up. And yeah, I know where the stuff is. I know where the cleaning stuff is. Yeah. Um, we'll say that everybody else kind of comes down. You guys notice? Uh, did Thea sleep or not? Um. Be right back. Yeah. Go with no. 
for right now. Okay. You guys notice Thea dragging just a little bit. The the pep that is normally in her step a little diminished. Oh boy. But nothing too crazy. But yeah, everyone's in the guild hall. Did you uh, tell us about what happened to you? Or no, it's. I mean, it literally happened while you guys were asleep. So. All right, I'll make sure that they're the kobolds are getting on breakfast. The chef is a. Uh, he's gonna be one of the longest living kobolds because they don't really live that long usually. They usually live to be like, I think the max is like twenty. Yeah, but some of them like only last like. Like two days. Like, like a few days. Yeah, it depends. Because they multiply so quick. Uh, it depends. Um, uh, Cirrus. Make a perception check for me. Oh boy. There goes our ranger making perception checks. There now. goes our ranger. <laughs> That's a 15. That was a good one, Brady. Good job. Uh, 15, you said? Yes, sir. Um, okay. Oh? Noted. Noted. Does he not perceive anything? I mean, it's early morning. I think about it like that. <laughs> I don't like that you do that. Um... Roll yeah, I, I, I guess. I guess. Yeah, get fucked, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I go get some some brekkie from okay. Chef. Chef. Get the brekkies. Do you want the Do you want the full English or whatever the equivalent is in, in yeah, Amon? The full Amon. The full Amon. Okay. You yeah, so we're at the Guildhall, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Norm so my free. normal breakfast. <laughs> yeah. The full Amon right. is everybody. Like live everyone gets the breakfast they want. Um. Some of you is more simple, like oatmeal, whereas others get the full amon. Oatmeal, um, fruit, and a nice glass of dark ale. I imagine, uh, for some reason, I imagine that Animus is a cantaloupe guy. I'll have a side of cantaloupe. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I like well, because now that Garnash has his melon farm up and running, you guys have more, like, watermelons and cantaloupes and honeydews and yes, stuff like that. the melons just overall... Yeah, the melons overrunneth. Good hydration right there. Just nice stuff. You can also make some sugar. cool mixed drinks now. Hydration and sugar, and we can make some cocktails. Take watermelon? Disgusting. Yeah, I'm not a big watermelon guy either. Fucking disgusting. Watermelon's what it's at. I think watermelon's, watermelon's good, good mixed into other stuff, but I don't like it as itself. <laughs> I also don't like pineapple. But, you know. See, that's wrong. But... <laughs> so you see the opinion you supported me on is awesome, but your opinion is stupid. While we're uh, all sitting at the table, uh, eating and everything, well, I guess um, if we need to do anything else uh, in Amon, go ahead and get that done, and then we can probably head out towards Marquette for the, or uh, where are we going? Yeah, towards Marquette to start our search. If you guys are ready. I, I'm I ready. What? I don't... Wouldn't you like to know? Um... I might need to take a little detour. Oh? And what, uh, yeah. what happened? So, met Tasha last night. All right. And she told me that the weird sorcerer magic that I've been dealing with lately is unstable and could destroy me at any time, likely within the next six days. I take like five steps backwards. Oh, While wow. still eating the octopus. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I octopus pick it, hanging it, out like of Like the mouth. tentacle hanging out of my... <laughs> yeah. And oh, she told boy. me the best place to start to try to figure out how to deal with it is Westrum. Oh boy. 
Or I wouldn't try to derail it if it wasn't life or death. But no. I would love to not explode. Of course, no, no. And not exploding is definitely probably now jumps to the top of the list. Um, yeah. That's a lot to unpack. At least now we know for certainty that it's Tasha, not the other one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we put that on the hold too. We're probably okay on time. We have someone else looking for the bailer for us. So, yeah, we definitely, I think, get that taken care of. Go to Western. I don't think there's any reason to split up yet. We're not quite pressed too hard on time. So, mm -hmm. all right. Well, everyone eat your breakfast and get ready. We're going to Western <laughs> instead. Wait. Didn't we have some problems going on in Western last time we checked? Uh, since mm. Andrew's not here, and Hunter probably wouldn't remember anyway, because uh, it's been so long. That is where um, Linares is being chased. Um, in his vision that he received. Okay. Yes, Andrew, that is a very concerning piece of information that you've just told us. And also... You guys, a few, like, this would have been, like, in in real life, this would have been, like, three or four months ago. You guys received reports that Westrun was under attack by strange shadow creatures. That's what it was, Anzu. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so... That was the DM. That wasn't Anzu. There's no way Anzu even remembers that. No, his glaucoma is pretty bad, right? Yeah. I think we're just gonna have to be careful. Uh, not that we haven't been anyways, but... Uh, especially as we get closer and closer and they obviously have access to us almost whenever they want we just need to make sure that if we do get into a fight it's not with the whole group of them again so Qu question about the whole Thea exploding thing um, is this more, more of a internal explosion or is this more like He's gonna hurt other people. Explosion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and me, I'll go with it. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously worried about you. But it's also, kind of like, she said that I couldn't come back from it. Like, couldn't right. bring me back from the dead. So, uh, right. Big okay. deal. Yeah, no, no, definitely big deal. Big deal. Yeah. Right. Okay. What if the Zygon make a perception check for me, please? What the fuck? Here we go. We're making the rounds. <laughs> oh, you, you perceived <laughs> air. <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a pretty hard feat to perceive air. God, I can see the molecules. I can see the. I air. mean, you can perceive air without. I'm gonna seeing use air. a lucky just because I'm, I'm curious. Okay. That was a natural one. Ooh. <laughs> Seventeen. Noted. Yep. Oh Here come we on. We're all right. Been a while Where's since we've that? had one of these. I'm gonna take a nap for an hour. <laughs> Zygon, uh, you swear one of the chairs moves. It's like one of the chairs off in the corner. You hear like a, Err! and you look back. Does it look out of place? I mean, it looks like someone didn't push their chair in when they left the bar. Ah, uh, that's willy-nilly. Oh, I, I cleaned the whole back. bar this morning. Zygon would have come in seeing me clean the whole bar. As I do. Yeah, I'd like to get up and uh, go push the chair back in. Okay. Shit, I missed one. Push the chair back in. Get back to your seat. It moves back. Um, I need the uh to make an arcana check. This is gonna turn into yeah. a 
Ghost Adventures episode. <laughs> I had it. <laughs> <laughs> no ship Oh my god, did you guys just feel that? I felt it here in the room. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot more. <laughs> I watched an episode of Ghost Adventures yesterday, and it was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. It's a comedy. It's an amazing comedy. Yeah. I was like showing Eric because I don't think he's ever seen it. And I was like, you got it. I was like, let's watch the first episode. And he's like, this is not good. And I was like, no, it's not. No, but it's amazing. We're good. It's, yeah. He's it's so funny how he talks. Oh, man. Ooh, I rolled right, a night right for right dirty 20. Nice. Um, as you're kind of talking there and kind of talking about the situation, you feel like an energy spike kind of coming. So you have time to move before anything happens. Well, uh, an internal energy or an external energy? In it feels Can I internal plane shift at the moment. Regardless. You won't have time Can to react. <laughs> Can I get as close to outside as possible? Yeah, so um, make a dexterity check for me. Wall to force. To see how fast you move. Yeah, I mean, you guys could encase the uh, when she's about to explode and do oh, wall force. Oh, another 19. No, 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 no. Like to no. Encase her in wall of force. <laughs> uh, she made it outside. We're fine. Okay. Uh, you dart outside. All of you see Thea dart outside. She must have had to puke. She's the puker. Oh, her tummy hurted. <laughs> oh, here we go. She so needs some tubs. I froze up. I, I uh, float up. <laughs> okay. So I rolled a 29. Fucking hell. Um, so. Was that a you, 100? At, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> As you're running out, you feel yourself. <laughs> You teleport 60 feet in the air. And you begin falling. Oh, God. Turn off creative flight. Uh, I'll cast Featherfall. Do I see her? So you run out as she's falling. Like, five feet before she hits the ground, you see her just kind of float down and then land on the ground. Ooh. So I gotta make a perception check for me. And serious. But yeah, now Anzu and the you guys are outside. That was weird. I didn't see any um, of that happen and I yelled at the road. Anzu, if you need to, you can always ask that kobold that catches your shit to catch her puke for you. No, that's a different kobold. Different department. Ah. Shit sneaky. Now it's it's uh I don't know. I'm not gonna come up with a dumb name. Puke, puke baggins? Fuck. <laughs> Puke, puke po bag. Um, <laughs> I got a four. <laughs> okay, a four. Sixteen. Sixteen. The chair moved again, dude. Pukus baggins. Just a little bit, like maybe two inches. It moved. Clearly, the chairs must be out of service, so I pick it up and then put it upside down on the table. Okay. Smart. Like I'm closing it. Okay. Zygon, you good over there, bud? Uh, if I, chairs, man, you know? Chairs, they just... In your chair, way? Chairs be doing chair things. They do Am I right? Things. All right, Thea, you feel the sorcerer magic kind of calm down. Uh, you had a wild magic surge. Those are going to become more frequent. Oh boy. Um, so that's fun. And they will be happening at random times. Mm. And by random times, I mean when the DM feels like it. Or in combat. So we always have to be talking amongst ourselves so that Jacob doesn't get the, the opportunity. Oh, just, we got we got some dead air. I guess we're going to make a roll. Dead air, let's roll. Mm, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, uh, everything seems to be calmed down. The chair is now up on the table. Uh, place is it just I got placed it. Is it just the one chair? That's the only chair? Seemingly, yeah. Uh, so you guys doing? 
since it's been a day, can I cast Ascending to my wife? Uh, sure. Roll percentage dice for me. Oh, fuck. Okay. A lot of percentage dice coming out in the last part of this campaign here. That is 72. Okay. Okay, continue with your message. Does it go through? Continue with your message. Okay. Hello, darling. Had a vision. You and Richter. In trouble. It's like a 1920s How can I help? report. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or will you come to me? Okay. A few seconds pass. Doesn't seem to be... Jeez, Daisy. Wow. Uh, she knocks out And the door. chair moves again. And the chair moves. <laughs> um, you, uh... A few seconds pass. And then you hear Linares' voice. Um... Currently, uh, indisposed deer. Um, we're okay for now. Must keep moving. Love you. And then, boom, cuts off. Well, uh, we gotta help Thea. Trust that they can do their part. Yeah. Please, and thank you. That would be nice. <laughs> um. So I'm going to. Uh, do you, have you guys ever seen like the Bubble Boy? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that to Thea. Okay. Are you so you're essentially out? you're essentially putting Thea in a hamster ball. Um. Gotta have <laughs> air holes in it. Cool. We just have to make sure there's oxygen in there every once in a while. Just gotta open it up briefly. If she starts looking blue, put a straw in it. Are you gonna do the resilient spear? Oh, yes, I am. Nice. Jeez Louise. Who's gonna roll or, Thea around? What I could do. I can get some. I can conjure some animals for that. Every night, what I could do is I could make a scroll for resilient sphere, give it to you. And then whatever you feel the urges, you just use it. What's the casting time on Resilient Spear? Uh, True. I don't think it's a reaction. I think it's just an action. Okay. Maybe a little slow of a casting time to do that. How long does it last? Like four minutes, I think. Ah. Let me see here. I have a Google Docs with all my spells on it because I have so many spells. I mean, that's essentially you have a wizard spell book. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what you're uh, supposed to do as a wizard. <laughs> okay. Uh, up to a minute. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the cast time is one action, and it's 30 feet. Okay. So, really, you want to only do a resilient sphere if, like, you know something is about to happen. If she can get it real early. If she can get that feeling yeah. right away. Yeah, if she, like, bam, action. Right. Boom. Resilient sphere. Zagon. Hi. The dang chair moved again. It's on the floor. Okay, what's up with the fucking chair? Is this not a joke? What, this what? dang cannabis chair keeps moving. I'd like to make an investigation check, Jacob. Okay. Make an investigation check. <laughs> Twenty-four. As you get closer to the chair, you know, when you touched it, you were like, this is kind of warm, but you thought maybe it's because someone was sitting in it recently. But as you're getting closer and as you're kind of examining the chair very faintly, you see, like, the wood grain in it is way too, like... Essentially, there is no grain. It's more like it looks like it's a painted-on wood grain, Right? And you notice 
the chair is like faintly breathing. Like you see like an inhale and an exhale. How many hit points does a chair have? Hit the chair. Chair's a moment. I would like to cast a Vata Kedavra. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong universe. Power word kill is essentially the exact same thing though, so. No, no, Zygon, just give the chair a little smack. Just like take the out. The chair who lived. <laughs> Come go across the room and use power word kill. Voldemort's like a stool. No, don't, don't use it yet. <laughs> just I'm using it, I'm killing it, whatever it is. Dead. Just smack it with your with your. This uh, chair is dead. With your sword. It's family dead. We can play G mod. Do have power word kill though. Go power. If you shoot it. You don't lose HP. Then it's the baddie. What are you gonna do, Zygon? And it didn't do anything when I picked it up, right? I like no, to pick no. it up. Take it out back. <laughs> to the farm. Okay. Okay. Ooh, the old yeller. Yep. I'm gonna close the door. Okay. I'm gonna come back and tell everyone that the chair is alive. Okay. Huh. A living chair. I don't know what to do. I've seen them before, yes. What's his name? What did you do? Uh. Well, we fought. I, I lied. I, I don't know why I lied. We. <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> we. <laughs> <laughs> we Turns have out Andrew is not actually a wizard. He's just a really, really good bard. <laughs> we have come across um, living objects before, though. I believe in uh, when we got those two teleporting stones that Zygon and his family have um, in that <laughs> mansion, that like weird mansion. There was, I think, there was some sort of living armor there. If I, if I... there was living armor, I painting. I've heard of this yeah. before, though. I, my uncle used to work at a company, and there were people called chairman. Oh my god. You don't say it. Here, here's the thing. If it's a living object, then it's just going to be a chair, and it's got no defenses against us just smashing it. If it's a human that has been somehow, or I guess a humanoid or creature that has been turned into a chair somehow hold on jacob's rolling can i cast message on it message on the chair yeah that's sure. a good idea i like that idea hello yes. mate what are you doing no response i'm stabbing the chair yeah. no don't 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 don't, 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 don't all right whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on it's outside no, it's, no they stopped me i want to no. identify that chair i cast identify um so as you go outside to try and cast identify on the chair, there is no longer a chair outside. Oh shit! I wish there was a chair outside. Steady on. Whoa, hold on. No, no hold, hold on. on. Hold on. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I no. said that in an American accent. As <laughs> Steady on. I wish I, that oh, chair oh. that was just here was back in this let's spot. Let's not. Let's not say the W word. We've been over this. I don't have any no access w to wish. Words. I don't have any. No access. W words. Okay, well, can I send Zato up in the air to uh, see if there's a running chair or anyone? Um, make sniffing? a history check for me and uh... find object. Would that work? Well, it was find living. Object would work if it's just a chair. If it was just a chair, right? Twenty-six. Okay. Um, Andrew, when you put in the purchase order for all of the equipment for um for the guild hall, you uh, bought four targets. For the for the target range for the training range here, uh, there are currently five. Ah, where's ah, pet? Where's bastard. Peggy? Peggy's chilling. Does Peggy, see I this. Each one. Is Peggy backing away which from one of the targets. Which one is breathing? You could lead Peggy around and see. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that. Okay. And Zeus inspecting grass, it though. Still RGB. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's doing the, the classic RGB keyboard, like, rainbow thing. Yeah. Uh, we haven't downloaded the software yet. <laughs> so, you begin looking around, and you see one of the targets. It's, like, a little bit smaller than the others. 
identify. Uh, it is definitely not a practice target. But and we should... definitely there's two different magical auras coming off of it. We should treat it as one. Someone there's serious. There's some sort of magical creature, and then a scry spell. I don't like that. Not a fan. Okay, I also learned what they are. So, what kind of creature is it? It's a mimic. It's ah. A mimic. And it's Jacob, can I use hunter? The thing Abby said five minutes ago. <laughs> ah. I thought we're all like. <laughs> they are. Unless it's but, been, um, like, tamed yeah. to be this. Yeah, you can hunter's market. Yeah. I was gonna hunter sense it. Oh, okay, that works too. Yeah. I wonder if this is just Tasha. <laughs> just chilling. Just make, keeping an eye on Thea. What's up? Okay. Can I um, like, make. walk over? They're immune mm -hmm. to acid. Okay. They're immune to being prone. And what was the other thing you get? Um, vulnerabilities, resistances. Uh, zero. Yep. I share that information with the world. Okay. Can I go over to the um, obvious mimic and like try to like pet it on its head? <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Ooh, Jacob. Natural twenty. As you go to pet it, you see the top of the target sprout teeth as it goes and tries to bite down on your hand, but you quickly dodge out of the way. In that case, I would like to move 150 feet away. There's not enough space in the courtyard for that. <laughs> I mean, I can, like, hop over a fence or something. Or is it just awkwardly positioned? No, while you're doing that, uh, I need Anzu, Animus, and Cirrus to roll initiative. Yep. Eleven. I rolled a two for initiative. Yeah, sixteen. Okay. Animus, roll initiative! What the fuck? <laughs> I tried to pet him and he tried to bite me. Six. Okay, so it's uh, Anzu, Cirrus, Animus, Mimic. And you guys are in the little courtyard behind the guild hall. Okay. Okay, Anzu, what are you doing? What about Peggy? Uh, uh... Peggy is still in their stall. <clears throat> so. I'll you... lead yeah. him around. Oh, well, I was saying that, like, you getting him... And these two doing their thing was happening at the same oh, time. Oh, okay, so okay. Kind of... Okay, I'm away from whatever's happening then. Yeah. Alright, Andrew, what do you want to do? I'm going to cast... I mean, uh... Do, do I know how many hit points it has since I identified it? Or, like, how strong it is? Um... It can't be that strong, right? It's... It's... Two digits. A two digit hit helpful. Okay. Um, I'll cast a uh, firebolt. Okay. Roll to see if you hit. I believe. Oh, yeah. Also, you guys have advantage on hitting it because it is a literal target right now. Fuck yeah. Oh, okay. Well, let me roll again. 21. 21. So you yeah. fire, it hits. Go ahead and roll damage. I think, I think I fire three times, right? I believe so, yes. You're probably gonna OCO it. Maybe? Depends on how much damage he does. Uh, let's see here. The first one is 11. Okay. Second one. 
is 18. Okay. And the third one is 7. Okay, so you hit it three times. It's not quite dead, but you do see there's like holes of it as it's trying to, it, there's holes through the target. They're trying to like reform. And you see this like weird kind of purplish goo almost trying to reform and take the shape again. Um, it's now full face has sprouted and you can see on top of the target is a blue gleaming eye. Um, that looks kind of like a mimic's eye, but it's it's been modified in some way. Uh, it's now Sears' turn. Hey guys, sorry to jump in on the episode. Thank you for watching if you are watching to this point. Uh, just a heads up, I am muted for the next uh, 12 to 15 minutes-ish. I was eating pizza and I didn't want people to hear me eat, so I muted my mic and I forgot to turn it back on. There's not a ton that you're going to miss from my side. Uh, anything that I say is, for the most part, going to be filled in by Jacob or Zach or Hunter, I believe. Um, but uh, just wanted to let you guys know that because there are a couple little gaps where um, if you're just listening to this and you're not watching, it's kind of weird to just hear one side of the conversation. But that is what happened. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Sorry about that. I'm getting this microphone figured out. Yeah. We'll say, Sirius, um, you got about 30 feet away from it before okay. initiative started. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I run another 30 feet away? Sure. And... I would like... To... Hmm. So, if I'm with... Like, too close, it's disadvantage, right? Yeah. But with advantage, it's normal. Yeah. Cool. I would like to cast Hunter's Mark as okay. a bonus action. It has been Hunter's Mark. Um, so I get an extra D6. And then... Let's try to boop it with an arrow. Regular okay. old arrow. Just a normal arrow. I fucking miss. Mm -hmm. What'd you roll? Uh, two. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, okay. plus your he doesn't have advantage because he's in That's he's normal. He's within the longbow range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I get like what plus ten on the bow. I'm not sure I can. Um, plus dex, plus proficiency. Uh, well, it's plus 12, so 14. Does that hit? That hits. Oh, shit. Mimics have low armor class. In that case, I get a d8 plus a d6. Damn. d8 plus d6. Yeah. Seventeen. Hit Seventeen. Three. You fire, striking the mimic, and you see it kind of reels up and kind of extends to more of its true form, and then it slumps down onto the ground, defeated. Ah. <laughs> Tarzan music playing. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it, it full-on dies. Uh, yeah, two worlds, one family, man. Anyway. Be so dumb. Uh, anyway, uh, it slumps to the ground, and you see its eye just kind of rolls off into the, uh, into the training field. I go get the eye. Yeah. It's a, uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, boy. Uh, wisdom is, oh, I get advantage. Okay, well, uh, ten. Ten. 
as you grab it, a image flashes in your mind of the five-headed dragon sword and its wielder looking at you. Do I recognize the wielder? They're cloaked in shadow. You can't see them. But it just flashes into your head and then goes away. And then you, as you pick up the eye, it shatters. Like glass. Weird thing just happened. Five-headed dragon sword, right? I saw it. Along with the guy holding it. Or a girl. Could have been a girl. Yeah, you don't know. Cloaked figure. Holding it. Did I see, like, anything else, or was it just that? Just that. No location or anything? Nope. It was dark. That's about all you know. Yeah. We should probably do a sweep of the campus here. I feel so like you would have let us know about it. Just got a pile of mimics in the basement. I feel like that's a little concerning, though. You bring up a good point. Jacob, do I I'm gonna cast identify on every fucking thing in here? Okay, I cast. Well, I mean, I'm gonna detect everything. My fucking office is upstairs. Um, so in the in the main lobby, everything comes up clean, except for two things. There is a cask of elven wine. The, he the wine itself has faint magical properties. It seems as though Soph has been saving that for a special occasion. And then the pole has a faint magical aura to it. Uh. Let me cast identify on the pole just to make sure. Okay. Um, the pole is coated in an oil Fair that enough. keeps it from degrading. That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> so that got approved. So. Oh, I don't need to get ready. Why don't I need to get ready? I want some eggs before we go. Ah, alright, Dan? Jacob, do I know Hello? anything about that five-headed dragon sword? I mean, the others have talked about it a little bit. Um, it seemingly is a very, very strong weapon um, wow. made from a metal that you're not aware of um, being from this plane or from the Feywild or the Shadowfell or anything like that. Um, it also, they've told you before that it can, like, possess people. Um okay. And it, it's a living weapon, so it, it has its own consciousness, or perhaps is an extension of the consciousness of the wielder? You're not... I mean, that's kind of inconclusive, but yeah. It's it's a scary weapon. It almost killed Zygon. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Yeah. Almost killed Zygon, almost corrupted Brawn, almost killed Anzu... <laughs> Although we've gotten a lot stronger since then. That is I'm true. Hoping. You guys have gotten a lot stronger since the last time you really fought against it. 
Um, it's especially been like skirmishes. Yeah, yeah he I'll look at he kind of just hits and runs. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> instant karma. Sauce, karma. Man. Oh, that had to hurt. Oof. Um. So you go to the second. You go to the second floor, Anzu, and you begin inspecting everyone's rooms. There's a few like magical weapons and and trinkets that are kind of in everyone's rooms. Um, one thing that strikes you is in the in your office. There is an unopened envelope that's kind of buried under other stuff that is giving off a faint magical aura. Magic hand. I'm opening. Mage hand opens it up, uh, pulls the pulls the contents out. You see a small note and a ring attached to the note. Put it on. I'll read it. Okay. Um. Thought this might come in handy when you're hungry. Signed, Oscar. It, it, this was delivered months ago, and it just got buried under other paperwork. Might come in handy when I'm hungry. Uh, I'll put it on. Okay. Uh, this requires attunement. Um, so if you're attuned to three things already, you'll have to unattune to something and to attune to this. Um, uh, okay. So this is a ring of bountiful harvest. <coughs> um, basically, uh, Anzu, you don't have to eat um, as often. And if you would take a point of exhaustion, you take zero instead. Give that to Thea? However, there is a limit. It doesn't work like... Basically, if you take like... If something causes you to have two points, it reduces it by one. So if it is just one, it reduces it to zero. Yeah, but exactly. So, like, if if something causes you to take two points of exhaustion, it will negate one. If it only requires one point, it will it will be zero. It it subtracts one theoretically, but you still don't get your you wouldn't get your spell slots back or HP. Yeah. It's essentially just used just in case you guys need to, like, not sleep. Oh, it's been there a while. You guys never. Yeah. Yeah, but now you're doing a sweep of the whole... Uh, you're checking for bugs. Okay, well, we probably need to start helping her out. So what are our options? I know one. Go to Western then. Yeah, we may as well just. Yeah, I'll grab the ring and we'll go to Western. Okay. Um, do you want to check the basement? You didn't check the basement. I will check the basement because that's where our plant is, right? Okay. Here. Yeah, that is where the plant is. Uh, secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Cole Baltimore. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, you scan around, doesn't appear to be. You do notice some like magical tools that some of the kobolds are using. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Um, you do notice a few magical tools the kobolds are using, but nothing. There's no like scrying or like listening spells or anything like that. 
that you notice. Okay. Well. All right. I'm good to go. Okay. So you guys go to the junction and request to go to Western. Um, as you do, you hear one of the attendants of the junction saying, uh, just kind of offhandedly say, Oh yeah, a lot of people have been going to Western lately. Um, I think they're having some like parade or something. Okay. A parade, and I'm sure there's going to be a fucking bomb there. All right, let's get it. Do you guys think I'm that predictable? Well, the last parade they went to, Sirius, there was a bomb. No, so. no, I know. Yeah. <laughs> he was there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, that was, Animus was really creepy. Hey, kids, how you doing? Yeah. No, 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 no. That was the assassination parade. Oh, there's more parades? Jesus Christ. It is parade season. Yeah, it is parade season. Parade season. Who doesn't want a nice parade? You know? No, you absolutely did. You, you full I told on, you to go, just you go told, find information from that young girl. I started hitting on a teenage girl. You full on Steve buscemi hello fellow students. <laughs> All right, so you guys take the teleporter, and um, if you feel yourself kind of lift up and then land back down, um, it appears as though Western has been doing some extensive rebuilding since you were last here. Um, you go out into the city center, and you see things of uh, new businesses are opening up, new buildings are being made. Um you also notice like a bunch of food stalls and it appears as though there's some sort of celebration going on. Um, hmm. Make all of you make a perception check for me. Tea. Okay. Yeah, make a perception check. We've got it. Okay. Thea's perception's insane, so I'm thinking... Oh, you just you yes. muted yourself. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the mouse was on the mute, and I was like, oh, wait. And then I clicked anyway. <laughs> well, okay. Um, 36. 36. <laughs> So he has to carry the one to do, to do her perception checks. Uh, okay. Anybody go below like a 10? Okay. So you all notice a few of the stalls are selling these masks. And um, you recognize a few of the faces that are the masks. Or at least you kind of do. They look similar. Um, so you see a, a dragon mask. That is styled very similarly to the uh, being that you believe is Marcaeus. Um, only instead of a red dragon, it's a gold dragon mask. But it's like the exact same design. Um, you notice another... You notice a few masks that look like the trio of women that are part of... That are Marcaeus's like, lieutenants. Only their hair colors are different. Or their eyes are... Their features are a little different. Um, it appears as though there is some sort of festival going on for a group of some people. A group of adventurers, maybe. Uh, Thea, you having an insane perception. That's pretty normal. It is normal. <laughs> you notice that... Um, you hear people talking, and you hear them saying, the five, the five, the five. Um, and they're, like, cheering, and they seem happy about it. And you hear one older guy say, yeah, my house was on fire when those weird shadow creatures showed up, but then they, they, they put the fire out while they were fighting the creatures. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And you just hear these stories, like saving a cat in a tree, or... 
you know, stopping a, a runaway ox cart. Like, there's just these little stories just dotted through all of these people in Westrun talking about the five and saying how great they are. Um, but, yeah, it's just kind of weird. It's just kind of odd. Hmm. Interesting. Can, can I buy one of the masks? Yeah, sure. I want to blend in. That'll be uh, one silver, sir. Oh, of course. I'll slip him a silver. Uh, does anybody else buy one? one? Can I also interest them? you in the shadow skewer? And you see it's like a like blackened chicken like kebab. But they're calling it shadow skewers because of the shadow creatures. and it, They're really going hard on the theme. <laughs> a little bit. Anyway, I'll hand everybody a mask. I want to ask the shopkeeper. Um, excuse me, uh, the heroes of Western. Mm -hmm. Did you ever catch that leader's name? The one I'm buying the mask. Uh. You know, no, but they are going to be here later today. We're have we're throwing them a big celebration. We're erecting a statue in their honor. Yes, yes. Have you ever seen his sword? Quite oh, I don't. Remarkable, I, isn't it? The last time I checked, the leader was a a, a lady. Oh, um, yes. And well, uh, I don't judge. She she has this really cool looking sword thing with like dragon heads on it and it's like really cool it's gonna be Thea's fucking mom I swear to god it's gonna be some crazy shit she's gonna pull something out like that maybe who knows <laughs> uh alright alright let's see you really you don't want the shadow spears oh I'll take one of course I'll try it out. Uh, you see, just like it's essentially like a corn dog, um, but they used like squid ink to make the breading like just as black as they could. <laughs> okay. Um, as you guys are kind of milling around the festival, I think that's where we will take tonight's break. Uh, we'll we'll be back in a few minutes. Hey yo, well, welcome back. So. Sorry, we're watching the Oscars at the same time. <laughs> yeah, the Oscars are going on, and we're we're movie-ish, movie-adjacent people. Yep. Right, Zach? Yep. If Fast and um, Furious 11 gets nominated for stuff, Zach will watch the Oscars intently. <laughs> probably still won't. Actually, probably not, because he doesn't like the Fast franchise now, but anyway. I got zero interest in the fucking Oscars. Uh, that's, I mean... That's fair. Rank fest. That's Big fair, Wes fair. Anderson move. Um... Okay. Call, call me Wes Anderson. If you make a good film, that guy. I would honestly guy. love to see Zach like pitch an idea for a movie. I would make a movie that Zach wants to make. I think that'd be so cool. I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway, go on. Anyway, uh, there's yeah, a well, there's a parade or something. There's a parade or stuff. Um, we bought all of us masks. Okay. I'm gonna also. Yeah, we should all put masks. on our masks and conceal yeah. our identities while we're here. I'm going to yeah, alter self. Up. Glasses. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a toothpick. And wear what? blue jeans. Wear some blue jeans. Yeah. <laughs> blue jeans. <laughs> what was the name he went with? Jackie Daytona. Jackie, Jackie Daytona. Daytona. From but Tucson, here Arizona. I'm Jackie Daytona. This is how we speak in Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good show. I'm not into volleyball, but Jackie Daytona. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite bit though is he has that pickup that he can't drive. Yeah, he just <laughs> smashes it into a wall. I spent a, a lot of money on this pickup. I like I like what he's like. I went to Pennsylvania because it sounds like Transylvania. <laughs> uh, to make this to make this uh, runoff relevant, I would like to alter self into Jackie Daytona. 
Okay, so you've got a really nice beard. You look like Matt Barry. Yeah, I look like Matt Barry whenever he was Jackie Daytona in the show. And I but imagine I, Matt Barry is a dwarf if he plays D anD D. Like legitimately, it's the beard. It's the beard. It's the beard. He's it's the ability middle. to do uh, the ability yeah. to do voices really well. Yeah, he's a dwarf bard in my opinion. I will maybe put maybe. I will put on the mask as well, be, or yeah. put the mask on like on my head, and maybe push yeah. it down or do the okay. anime thing and put it like right here yeah, on the you side. fucking beat me to it sorry no never mind i'm gonna put it i'm just gonna put it here no 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 it's good i'm just gonna i'm not gonna actually do that i'm jackie daytona i'm jackie daytona toothpick <laughs> yeah you take okay. one of the you take like the stick that anzu had for his corn dog and take a piece of it off and now it's a toothpick. yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mark Theo. Hamill's in that episode too. I forget about that all the time. I didn't know that was Mark Hamill until I just watched it again for like the third or fourth time. Yes. And I was like, holy crap, that's Mark Hamill. <laughs> I knew it as soon as I heard the voice because I was like, skips? <gasps> Mark Hamill? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so good. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So you, you guys notice like there's not really a parade. It seems as though they it's a festival. It's not a parade. Um, okay. So there's less likely explosions. Um, mm, that's what they want us to think. But uh, you... we literally save this city from vampires, and they could like Blows give less of a shit. Well, to be fair, they didn't know it was you, and that was early on in your adventuring career. I'm going to fuck them up. <laughs> I'm bombing. I'm going to be the reason there's a bomb in this city. <laughs> this gonna fuck them up. Uh, oh shit! Kind of Sarah just slowly backs <laughs> away. Fuck. Nope, 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 nope. Fucking karma's a bitch, Caleb. I know. <laughs> I can laugh that hard. Um, Thea. Do, do, what, the Kim song. do you know what we're looking for? <laughs> no. Hmm. Not at all. It's gonna be one of those things where, like, when you see it, you know, right? I think. I think probably yeah. Um, the reason we're here to save Thea, but we don't know why being here will save Thea. Correct. Just that Tasha well, told her. I asked her Just... if it. I figured it would be a good idea to go back to what to the place I was in, whenever. You know, I acquired this little thing, yes. and. It had something to do with the five, so if they're, like, there's something going on with them here, I don't know, it's probably connected. I'd have to guess. Well, maybe we have to watch this grand speech or something then, right? So, why don't we all pair up and watch what happens next? It's like Scooby-Doo, there's five of you. <laughs> I I can go alone. I'm fine with that. Anzu, every time you go somewhere alone, you die. I think you should go with Thea. <laughs> every time I go with Thea, she explodes, either emotionally or physically. Physically is more. This time might be physically. I'm so yes. sorry that I'm a human. <laughs> I'm an elf. I'm just a girl. It was a lot of feelings. I'm just. And I express I them. I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I'll pair with Thea. No, not if you don't want to. This no, I'll pair with you. That is fine. That is per I just don't like mixing family and business, you know. Haven't that we been doing all that for you years? Do. <laughs> that is literally all you do. <laughs> Sorry, it's the guacoma. It, it <laughs> it's in clearly acting up. Oh my god. Yes. Making him forget. <laughs> Jeez. Let's go, Thea. Flash, let's flash just go back. this way. All right, and then I'll go with Zygon, and then Zygon goes with Cirrus, and then we're good. We're all paired up. What? Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, we don't want to split. We don't want one of us to be alone in a city that has the five in it, right? And sure. Anzu, you and I are the only two that can teleport a whole group, so it's good that me and you sure. split up in the two groups. Okay. Who would, which Just group play would like hot to potato with Thea. We could play hot potato. Whenever we see each other, the the group, the next group takes Thea. Okay, you get Thea. <laughs> uh, Thea and I will go first. 
because she's giving me the looks. Okay. Um, so, Animus, Cirrus, and Zygon. Where do you guys want to go? You guys are in the city center. Um, it appears as though the, like, um, the town center where, like, the, the meeting hall for the town is, um, seems like that's where the ceremony is going to be taking place. Um, it doesn't appear to be happening for a little while, so if you guys want to, you can, like, gather information, look around, whatever it is you want to do. I would like to try some, uh, vendor food. Okay. Alright, so you've got three options. Shadow Spears, Shadow Skewers, or the Meat Man. Came down. <laughs> the meat man came down from Whitestone. Um, and then the last one is a uh, five-layer parfait. Mm. It's yogurt, strawberries, granola, pineapple, cream cheese. Sprinkled. That sounds really fucking good. Sprinkled honestly. with charcoal extract. So yeah, that just, it gives the shadow yeah, effect. Activated, activated charcoal. I want to try the parfait, Jacob. Okay. Uh, the parfait is three silver. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, there's fresh yeah, fruit. Robbery. It's hard to get fresh fruit around here, I guess. All right. Uh, they give you a, a small little, like, decorative spoon, and on the handle of the spoon is, like, the five dragon heads. Make a perception check for me. Good. That would be a... 16. Okay. Um, the five heads are not the right colors. Hmm. They are the metallic dragons. Oh. Instead of the chromatic dragons. Maybe a different five. Maybe a different five. Didn't, um... <sighs> there be. Oh, man, I really wish Thea was around when I had this question. Didn't Thea talk to us about how her mom was part of the five at one point? But, like, Maybe. a different five. Different five. And this five, five fives? I don't know. I do know that this five came from a different multiverse and not just a different plane. Yeah. Wait, what? It's a plane. So this it's is still Mar Marcaeus on the hel on the mask, right? It's a different color. His mask is red, this one's gold. Mm. It's a different Marcaeus. It's a different five. It's the good five. What if Maybe. we, we don't... can recruit them? Yeah, what if we what if they recruit us though? What if they're the true heroes in the story and we're just like outliers that get Wouldn't recruited that be by in them? The same rug pull, <laughs> but this I think Anzu would be heroes. fine with that. Anzu would mm. go off, be a professor, and call it good. Yeah, we, we what if we are the five. Oh my I mean, god. Are we the baddies? Out. We're, no, the, we're the big bad the entire time. We've done good things. No, you just went through a whole. Big bad was the friends we made along the way. No, you just went. <laughs> you just went through a whole trial that proved that you weren't the bad one. So. The parfait is delicious, by the way. All right, perfect, awesome, <laughs> lovely parfait. Ten out of ten. The eh, goat, nine it's out like, of ten. It's like a nice goat uh, or a goat cheese based cream cheese at the bottom, so it's kind of mm. got more of like a fatty kind of flavor to it mixes well with the pineapple the yogurt is a uh, variation on greek yogurt so it's a little bit thicker uh the strawberries blend well with it very nice uh, and then you get a nice crunch from the activated charcoal and the granola so it's just really yeah. want this parfait i legitimately could probably make it it's not that Good. not that hard <laughs> my just stomach like... would explode but... yeah you'd <laughs> yeah. have to do dairy free Zach is lactose. Cirrus is not. <laughs> yes. Actually, make a constitution saving. No, just kidding. Jesus. Uh, just get uh, the shit out of nowhere. <laughs> just Cirrus is lactose intolerant and just not. I'm actually out. allergic to strawberries. Oh, that'd be so funny. All right, is there anything else this group wants to do? What are you guys doing? I want to eavesdrop to see if there's anyone talking about like a crazy story about they had with the five. Okay, make a. Stealth check, like so the people like don't for know. the whole time that we're all walking. Yeah, like I just yeah. wanted to see if I pick up on one of these crazy stories. Yeah. You said stealth check for that. Yep, yeah, stealth check. Make sure people don't notice you listening to them. I'm gonna guidance. 
Yeah, you've been dropping no leaves. So. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. And now, uh, make a perception check. Natural twenty. Okay. Let's go. Natural twenty. Okay. So as you're walking around, um, you hear a few people talking about like the the five saved me from a fire and the five killed a shadow creature. Um, you do hear one story though that intrigues you. Um, you hear a woman talk about how, and she looks to be quite older. Um, she's like, well, you know, they haven't aged a day. I'm trying to get closer. Um, she then goes on to explain how when she was a little girl, the five came to Western and stopped a bandit group from extorting the people. Um, that was about 70 years ago, roughly. Give or take. Her memory's not the best. Oh my god. But, uh, she says they have an age today and they look all the same. One thing that you remember, Animus, is that the five that was described to you that involved, like, Thea's mom and stuff also had Shavira on the team. I do remember that. Yeah, so that's kind of a weird little, little nugget. But no one ever talked about Shavira being a dragon at that time, right? No, they didn't. They didn't know. Which really. means, well, some of them did. But if she was a dragon, she could have been a different type of dragon. No, 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 no. Or a dragon can't change dragon. Its scales. Huh. Very interesting. I want to go talk to this woman after she's done telling this story. Okay. Um, you see a few people are kind of listening to her, and they're just like, oh, uh -huh, yeah. They're entertaining her, because uh, she appears to be the elderly uh, grandmother of uh, of this group. Okay. Um, but you kind of ease up in your blue jeans. Um, just kind of listening, kind of prop yourself up. On a post, just kind of highly listening. The rest of them go on. They say, "Oh, we'll bring you back one of those parfait things." <laughs> and I'll leave. She sees you. She kind of. Oh, uh, hello there, madam. Uh, uh, hello, Jackie Daytona. Nice to meet you. Uh, hi, you're coming on real strong. I, well, I was just so interested in this conversation that you just had with these people, and, you know, I, uh, I was wondering if you could tell me a little more about the Five. When I got into town, I only kind of heard stories and, and saw a couple things happening, um, but I myself have not experienced the amazingness that they have brought into this, uh, amazing town of Western. Oh, well, um, they, uh, they came... Uh, a few weeks ago, when there, when those weird beasts were attacking, those strange creatures, and uh, they uh, put a stop to them and made sure the town was safe. Oh right, and, and you said that they were um, uh, the same as you used to see them, right? Well, I mean, it's the darndest thing, you know. Uh, they look, they they have an age today. Um, and but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they're, I mean, they're very powerful, so maybe their magic is doing something. Of course, of course. Um, what, who, who does the group consist of, exactly? Oh, I don't know their names. Um, they tend to, they come in and then they leave. Um, but, uh, there's, there's, um, there's a large, there's a large fellow and, uh, and then, um, there's, there's three ladies, mm. and then, um, 
They've, they've got a, a small one with them, but I don't know exactly what that one, the small one is, but uh, really strong. Uses a lot of magic. Interesting. Very interesting, yes. Well, thank you for your time, ma'am. I... I'm just gonna keep enjoying the fair just as you are. Have a good time. You too, thank you. She didn't know as much as I wanted her to know. Maybe she knew the most that anyone could know. Exactly, which is why I asked her. There's a large one, three ladies, and a small one that's strong and can use magic. Is that what she said? Mm-hmm. Okay. What if the large one is locked now he left us and just <laughs> <laughs> he made a new group? He made a super group. <laughs> Zygon, are you wanting to do anything while you guys are kind of milling around the festival? Mm, I'm just kind of keeping an eye out for threats. I'm not here for enjoyment, really. Okay. I got my mask on. I'm just kind of blending in. Okay. Okay. Um, make a perception check for me. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Um, you notice a few of the town's guard. They don't have weapons. That's curious. Seems as though they either don't have enough weapons for every guard, or they're actively not carrying weapons. Do I get the va- uh, okay. Fire check. Right. Vibe check. Well, what are the vibes? I wonder if they, wonder if they think it's because if something goes wrong, then the five will come and save them. Hmm. Here, well, I'll point that out to, to Animus, or Jackie Daytona and the uh, Sirius. Okay. Notice anything off about these guards? Is that a question? Sorry. Yeah. I, was, I was rubbing my eye and I couldn't quite tell. That was, in fact, a question. <clears throat> uh, no. I I was just talking to an old lady over there that apparently said that she has seen them before and they haven't aged a day in years. So, it seems like we may be dealing with a group of five that's been through before, possibly with Thea's mom. They all be elves. Indeed. Indeed. You guys know from the stories that you were told that not all of them were elves. That the only elf on the team was Thea's mom. You know what could possibly have happened? And I've, I've only heard stories of this. I actually do not know if this has ever happened without, you know, just people passing this around. But being stuck in, like, a time... Uh, like a like a freeze in time, basically, kind of like whenever we go to the Feywild, and then you come back, you could come back at a at a time that was not when you left, right? Like it could be years later, or it could just be seconds later. What if the original group disappeared seventy years ago and got stuck in a time loop somewhere where they came back recently? And that's why they look the same age. Now, a simple cleric animus. I don't know much of time. <laughs> I only have heard of this with planar travel. Um, but it'd be very unlikely that the group of five would go to the Feywild or the Shadowfell or any of the known planes and not be able to figure their way back within a much shorter amount of time or at least be able to make a deal with one of the higher-ups to come back at the right time anyways, especially since um, Thea's mom being uh, an elf was um, probably pretty well known with how that kind of stuff works, or at least this short one that knows magic very well that the old lady was telling me about. So, 
the two the two holes in that would be Thea's mom. Thea did watch her mom suffer from an illness, the black spore as we know it. And the second one would be Shavira. I think there could be a small loop with Shavira, and that would be the Shavira we know. Her true form as a dragon is what her true form is, and the form she takes as a human is stealing the form from the original whoever that was part of the original five. Right? Because that's entirely possible. A dragon can take the shape of someone else if they want to, but they can't take the shape of a different dragon, so... What? <laughs> Dragons, man. That's... Yes. How did they work? <laughs> Shavira could be using a strong alter self to look like the original woman who is part of Thea's mom's five, so that she can blend in with the current time. That is... And maybe her true form, as, like, her true human form, is not what we've been seeing. It might be something else. Animus, are you alright? Have you been dipping into the mushrooms again? I mean, I only had a couple stands that I walked by when I was listing, and yes, they had some mushrooms at them. But that's not, that's besides the point. That's besides the point. All right. All right. I promise this makes some well, sense. It could be. It could be. I don't follow, but I trust you. I think... The guards have no weapons was my original point. That is uh, also an interesting thing. I wonder if they have, like, some sort of, like, it's safe here, so you don't need weapons kind of feel going on. Who's the government here since the last time we left and tried and took over so the government? So, the Margrave was overthrown because he was being controlled by a vampire. You guys killed everybody. Um, and when you were last here, um, there was like a people's council, basically. So it's like council members that are running the town now, from what you understand. Oh. I don't know. Probably should have installed someone after. Oh, well. I think we did. I think we told the people to like create like a democracy or something. Maybe we should have overseen it better, though. You're right. Wait, Let we Next we time. you know what happened? We thought about putting we me and you threw around the idea of you being in charge of Western. But then we thought that might be a little hard when you would have to stay in Western to do that. True. Maybe we just go to the parade. This is what we get. Yep. Right. A guard, a parade it is. weaponless guards, and old women talking about random fantasies. So. Does anyone else appear to have weapons? Like just like not that they're um, on, but make no an investigation toys? check. Maybe even just the like goers. Oh, natural one. Natural Plus, one. You know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Well, I mean, like, weapon. What is a weapon? You know. <laughs> uh, Everyone's got their skewers. A a good monk, their body is a weapon. You know, so it's like, it's hard to define. Uh, you know that you guys have weapons. Um, nobody else appears to be carrying any. Also, Zygon doesn't appear to be carrying any weapons because you. Your weapon is housed in a pocket dimension. Um, but uh, you don't notice anyone carrying any weapons, but you assume maybe there's some like guards that are concealed that might have some. Because it's just odd. It's very odd that the guards in, in the area don't appear to be carrying any weapons. Right. Okay. Okay, so the three of you begin to make your way up to where the ceremony is going to take place, and now we'll go over to Anzu and Thea. Um, so you've split off from the other three. What are the two of you wanting to do? Don't all say anything at once. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> you two, you two are in the festival. What are you wanting to do 
before the big ceremony starts. Um, I mean, I'm down to do what you want to do. Um, no. Maybe keep an eye out for anyone who looks like my mom. Okay, on mom watch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. I don't know. Did I forgot? Did Tasha give me any idea of like what I'm looking for around here? Did just she said just go to Western. Um. Ansu's from Western. Does does he know anything about the five? Um, man. Okay. Uh, make it. He's lived there check. since he was. Yeah, but you also okay. like traveled a lot, and the five were more active when you were doing when you were also adventuring. So maybe you'd pass them every so often. <clears throat> but and also, 22. I mean, well, hmm, twenty-two. Um. He started the college like a hundred and something years ago. Yeah, you've heard of them. Um, when you were like retiring from adventuring and starting the college is when they were really starting to become active. Um, you do know that one of their members was a... Um, before becoming an adventurer, they were like a, a student... Um, of magic, but they weren't one of your students. It was just like, you know, when professors get together and they talk about some of their students, like, uh, they mm. were a, um, they were a student of abjuration, um, which is pretty much... That's Linaris, isn't it? Linaris is an abjuration mage, yes. But, mm. um, you don't know, you don't quite remember who this person was. Um, yeah. you also know that um one of the one of the members was a uh human man um who was known as like a folk hero around western for a while and then um in his later years he uh joined a traveling group and he was like their kind of like their mentor figure um uh his name was cyrus Um, but from what you remember, Cyrus died kind of early on in the group's lifespan, and then they found another member, um, who was, uh, you, you just remember they were big, but then again, you're a gnome, so that's kind of, but, um, yeah. Cyrus was, it's kind of like the person who's like a friend of a friend, you know, it's like, you are aware of who he is, but you never really were around each other too much yeah. uh, but you knew he was a pretty strong fighter and, and a good leader but you know for a fact he is dead like, he is, yeah. he's full on dead <laughs> his grave is in western like you could go to his grave site right now um Guess we just kind of wait till the festival starts. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing when they come out, we'll have more answers. Thea, make an investigation check for me. Thank you. Damn, I am on fire. It's a 19. Oh, wait, yeah. 19 plus 1, so 20. Okay. Um. You don't notice anyone that looks like your mom. Um, you do notice, however, um, that, hmm, how to word this, there are a lot of people around that look vaguely familiar, and you don't quite know why. It's like, it's like you're... You're experiencing another person's memory, almost. Like, there's this just, like, weird... Almost a deja vu um, yeah. going on. Okay. Um...
What people are looking familiar to me? Uh, a few children. Um, you see a few, um, like, guards kind of scattered throughout. You're all kind of like, oh, that's, that's, um, that's that guy's grandson. Or, like, somehow you know who these people are without ever meeting them. But you, like, know what their familial connection is. Mm. But you can't, like, names are kind of slipping. Like, you'll think of a name, and as soon as you remember it, it fades away again. Um, I need you to make an arcana check. No, I don't. I'm dumb. You're not dumb, you just forgot. <laughs> Eight. Eight, okay. In the book. So, as all of this is kind of flooding, you feel your heart rate begin to increase as the magic sealed inside you begins to kind of leak out almost. Um, you feel almost like mental barriers beginning to kind of build up in your mind as, as all of this is kind of slipping away from you and the familiarity is kind of fading and you're going, kind of coming back into yourself more. Mm -hmm. Um, you gain resistance to all damage for a whole minute. Oh. Do something straight, fucking crazy right now. Just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Run and just jump off a fucking building. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The particles are coming off her. Oh man. <sighs> she swallowed a star. Okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, there's this just weird. It's like you've been here before, which you have been to Western before, but it feels like. Yeah. You've been there more, or somehow before you were here the first time? Yeah. I'm just trying to remember what was happening whenever I, like, had... Because I know we were around, like, all those, like, weird clone things. Mm -hmm. Whenever I got the sorcerer level, and I just can't remember, like... Specifically the moment. I'm trying to remember. If there was anyone around. So as you guys are kind of moving in, you see the ceremony is beginning to start. <laughs> um, that's kind of an oxymoronic sentence. Um, you see um, what looks like you assume is maybe the mayor or the head of the city council get up and you see him grab a small um, like um, horn. And he begins talking through it, and you think it, it's somehow like enchanted. It's probably like thermaturgy enchanted. And he says, "All right, everyone, let's gather around for our special statue erecting ceremony for the five. And everyone's like, "Yeah." Uh, not all of them could be here today, but two of the members have uh, have given us the the uh, gift of their presence today. Um. I'd like to call them up. And you see, uh, Anzer, you see an older man with, like, shoulder-length gray hair. That's Cyrus. You know for a fact that's Cyrus. You've seen him before. He's dead. He's not dead, apparently. He's fucking um, dead. Did Anzer know how he died? Uh, he died in battle. Um, and then you see a cloaked figure come up wearing a golden dragon mask. And you see them pull the sword out and aim it up to the sky as all the heads ignite in their metal, their metallic dragon heads. And it lights as everyone begins to cheer. And then you see them go to take off the mask. And that's where we would end tonight's session. What the no. fucking shit. <laughs> it's Dia's mom. <laughs> Maybe. Just tell who it is. Maybe that's who it is. Maybe that's not who it is. I'm just... 
But um, we will be back next week. And then... Break. The week break. after that. Oh, yeah. And then yep. we're on break. Yeah. And then we're going to Hunter's Wedding. Yeah. You get Murray. Yeah. We'll talk about more of that whenever that comes. Yeah, we'll we'll throw, do the we'll congratulations later when it happens. Yeah. yeah. When it actually it. matters. Yeah. I actually get to see you guys. I know. IRL. I know. Which, I haven't seen Zach physically since Caleb's wedding. Since Caleb's wedding. And I don't and think Zach saw me. Zach. I saw I him. Was, I Zach. Was, Zach's eyes <laughs> probably saw you as shapes and figures. Yeah, yeah they were like, oh, person. person. I'm sure I probably did a, hey, and then you did. You did. went off to do whatever yeah. I did. Yep. Carried me around a dance floor. A whole lot of stuff happened. But anyway, that's it for us tonight. We'll see you next week. Have a great week, everybody. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then. Wee.